my name is Olua Tosin Ababiaka, or I go by Tosin. Um, I am from Katy, Texas, and from Lagos, Nigeria. I moved to the United States when I was 12 years old from Lagos, Nigeria, and moved to Katy, Texas. Then went to school in North Carolina, Duke University, go Blue Devils. Um, and then I lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for a little bit, working on migration issues and working on local government um, issues as well. And then eventually I moved to Copenhagen and to Brussels for a bit, and now I'm here again in Brussels. And so I've gone from a love of literature, music, and sociology to as an equal love of migration policy and public policy as a whole. My travels um, have significantly impacted my decision to be a Fulbright Scholar and I guess my career decisions as a whole, particularly because I am interested in global migration policy, um, transnational, supranational governments and governance and things of that sort. And it, the Fulbright Schumann uh, program, as you might or might, may or may not know, is a program that allows you to work or research or study in multiple EU countries. And working for some time in Brussels and working a bit in Copenhagen, I was introduced to issues on my, of migration and integration and asylum in these contexts that are similar to the West, but not necessarily, or similar to the US, I apologize, in the West, but not necessarily exactly the same. And so it allowed me to see a very, very diverse view of some of the things that I enjoyed and I was passionate about. And as I learned more and more about the Fulbright program, I realized that the Fulbright Schumann program was the perfect program for me, um, particularly to study inter like cross-national or transnational issues of migration. My interesting discovery will be a deconstruction of that question itself, because U.S. culture is totally amorphous. Um, it's multifaceted. There's so many different perspectives. Um, not as many languages. Now that is the distinction between European culture. You, Europe as a whole is, is, is a continent um, and represented with so many different cultures, so many different languages, so many different perspectives, just as we do have in the U.S. So it's very difficult to make a neat comparison between Europe and the U.S. And that's something I've learned through my many foibles and my many hurdles. Um, kind of interacting with people here in Brussels and in other parts of Europe. Okay, well, for people who are interested in the Fulbright Schumann program, um, I think it is an absolutely fabulous experience, uh, the few weeks that I've been on it so far, and getting to understand the cultural similarities and also differences and intricacies of European um, culture, or the large thing that is European culture. Um, it is fantastic for broadening your knowledge of things here and also back home. It's a wonderful chance to be able to look back at the U.S. with a critical lens and with a critical perspective. And it only began, you know, for me with a recommendation from a friend. Um, I knew nothing of it. I applied. I applied. Um, I didn't apply directly through my university, in fact. Um, and still, I got a chance to participate in the program. So anybody and everybody should at least take a look at it and see whether it suits his or her interests.